Hello friends, James Stevenson back with a quick reaction video update. Uh, a couple of weeks ago I did a reaction video to Chicken Genius Singapore uh, saying that Tesla was heading down to $140. I was cautioning against uh, getting behind uh, that argument. So let's share our update with you. Uh, first let's check in on Loki. There he is in his dog bed. Curled up with his animals, uh, enjoying some shut eye. And here is, you can keep an eye on Loki there as he gets more comfortable. Uh, here's uh, what you missed on October 3rd a tweet from Ken, target of Tesla, 420 pre split, 120 to 140, still in play. Uh, patience, ignore the noise, trolls, and toxic bulls. Well, I'm, I'm not trying to be a toxic bull, I'm not here to drag you, Ken. Just uh, trying to give the people an update on how things have gone. Did we get the 120 to 140 uh, where you were hoping to buy back after closing out your short positions? Well, let's check the chart and see. So here was October 3rd. The stock price did come down, but it did not come down to 140 or to 120 or to anything approximating either of those. Here on October 14th, it was down to 204. On October 20th, it was 207. Like intraday, it got down to 198 for a hot minute, and then that got snapped up. And it's been trading above 200 the rest of the time. Uh, so let's get some further updates here from the Chicken Genius timeline. Uh, I'm not going to read that one. Or that one. Let's see what we got here. Okay, Tesla bulls. Tesla is at levels. You can start to dollar cost average. So that means to buy in. So October 17th, let's see what the uh, price was there. So October 17th was here. So Tesla about 219 uh, on the 17th when uh, Chicken said uh, start buying in your uh, your Tesla again Tesla bulls uh, risk $140 reward $300 so you know Ken is a trader he's uh, just trying to throw out some numbers there uh, favors an entry don't go all in as my spy target is still 320 okay it's the S&P 500 he thought would go lower than that and then do we have any more updates from here, or are they on YouTube? I think they're on YouTube. I'm going to close out with this one. I understand it's hard, but this is not the time to be bullish. I've been saying this for months. So patience, the time will come. I do not care if this may be the bottom. At the end, the stock market is made out of many businesses. The fundamentals need to favor business. And until inflation is under control, the cost of capital favors business growth. Don't be fooled. All right, so uh, Ken is telling us, don't catch a falling knife. You don't know whether it's the bottom or not. Even if Tesla's at 52-week lows, you can't be sure that's a good price. Well, I would disagree with that, and I would say... If you're a long-term investor in Tesla and not a day trader or not a, a swing or a momentum trader, if you're really trying to invest in a business for the long term, uh, uh, you got to like buying Tesla at 52-week lows if you believe that the stock is going to be much higher in future years, right? If you think next year, the year after that, the year after that, Tesla is going to have a valuation measured in the trillions, which is what Elon Musk, the CEO, told us he believes, then what you want to do is buy the stock when it's still less than one trillion and hodl to the trillions, right? All right, so that's my video for this week. Let's check back in on Loki, where he is snoozing and snoring. And I will say, if you've enjoyed today's video, click the like button. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, you could go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, my, my content is always free on Twitter and on YouTube, but... If you find my content valuable and would like to support me, there's ways to do that in the video description linked 
to support me through Patreon or by joining my channel, as Kathy Kitchler did at the top tier support level where she gets thanked at the end of every video as an executive producer. And I will see you in the next one.